ఇచ్చారు మీరు సహింపత గనంతకంటే ఎక్కువగా ఆయన మిమ్మల్ని శోధింపబడనియ్యారు అంతేకాదు సహింపగలుగుతా కూడా ఆయన స్పందనతో కూడా తప్పించుకున్న మార్గమును కలుగ చేయను హీ విల్ షో అస్ ద వే దట్ వీ మే బి ఏబుల్ టు గెట్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ ది అఫ్లిక్షన్ అండ్ ట్రబుల్ అవర్ లాడ్ గివ్స్ అస్ ఎవ్రీ కంఫర్ట్ ఈవెన్ దో వీ ఆర్ ఇన్ ట్రబుల్స్ అండ్ అఫ్లిక్షన్ All right, so he says in verse uh, 12 that to be careful, not, you know, let him that think it he stand it, that he's standing sure, he take heed to watch out lest he fall. So we got to, we're in a spiritual battle, we must always be ready. And then in verse 13 he says, there had no temptation, or that word could also be testing, a test, a temptation, taking you. but such as is common to man so this is common to all man the sufferings the afflictions the problems uh is common to us to all mankind then he says god is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted or tested above what you are able but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that you may be able Amen. to bear it you know you know some this word over here where it says make a way make a way to escape i'm going to show you what it means because i got a translation here it's in uh <clears throat> let me see computer's working a little slow so we'll see what we can get it means in why don't you look in in hebrews um let's go to hebrews 13:7 hebrews 13:7 hebrews 13 <laughs> Yes. And their, and their way of life. So, so whosoever that teaches us and, and on our uh, high, high above yeah. uh, as our uh, um, leaders. Uh-huh. This, yes. this word over here where it says, um, whose faith follow considering the end, that's that word escape. That's that same word escape that we were just looking at in 1 Corinthians 10, 13. That you may be able to escape, that you may bear it. The idea is that um, we run the race and that when it's, when it's time to die, we, we, we end our life well in the Lord. We die well in the Lord. That's the idea he's given us here of this, that we should, um, <clears throat> it means that um, the, the end of physical life and the manner in which they closed They closed their life in a well-spent life, exhibited by the way, by the way, uh, the spirit of dying. You know, the way they died, the way they ended their life was the, was the escape. To show, to be a witness to all that they lived a good life and they died for the Lord. That's what it means, that word escape. If you want to say that, 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 దేవుడు నమ్మ తగిన వాడు అయినందు వల్ల ఏంటంటే సాధారణంగా మనుషులందరికి కలిగే శోధనలే మనకి వస్తాయి వేరే చేయబో అంటే చూడండి తన సూర్యుని అందరి మీద ఉదయింప చేస్తున్నాను అని ప్రభు చెప్తాడు కదా అదే రీతిగా ఇక్కడ కూడా సోదాలు అందరికి ఒకలాగా వస్తూ ఉంటాయి మీకు కొత్తగా ఏది సంభవించలేదు దేవుడు నమ్మతగిన వాడు మీరు సహింపగలిగినంతకంటే ఎక్కువగా ఆయన మిమ్మల్ని శోధించబడనేడు అంతేకాదు సహింపగలుగుతగా ఆయన సోదనలో కూడా తప్పించుకున్న మార్గం కలగజేస్తాడు అంటే అర్థం ఏంటి అంటే మనం జీవితం అర్థమైపోయే వరకు కూడా నమ్మకంగా జీవించి చనుకోవాలి క్రీస్తులు దేవుని దేవుళ్ళు అని దీని అర్థం అని తప్పించుకోవడం అంటే భలే తప్పించుకునేవాడు వీ హ్యావ్ వీ హ్యావ్ అయ్యమ్మ ఇన్ తెలుగు తెలుగు 
in school education we have a poem. Mm. Yapati Gaya the Prasuta, Apatika, Matala, Anula Manamun, Rupimpa Katano, Waka, the Pinchu, Tiru, Wadu, Ranyo to Samate. A person who could not uh, make trouble with others, adjusting for everything, uh, and live a good life, uh, not uh, bringing any curse to others or uh, take any pains for, uh, pains for that, mm -hmm. for his life, only just uh, twisting in life and enjoying the life. Is a, the person who do like that? He, he is an escapist and not a truthful man. Yeah. Uh, you know it. That yeah. is the meaning of the poem in Telugu. We taught and we were taught. When we were children, we were taught. And when we, when I was a teacher and we teacher, we teach them in the schools, the secondary school. So there is a poem. So God doesn't want that. God, uh, God wanted us. I am telling them. Uh, our brothers, uh, says that God wanted us to live for truth and die for truth and live in Christ and Amen. death for God. That Amen. is the way that uh, our Lord asks us, I say, yes. to them. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I tell you what, you know some okay. we didn't we didn't pray yet. Why don't we pray right now? I forgot to pray. Let's pray. Yes, sir. Let's pray. <laughs> Okay, Heavenly Father, we just thank you, Lord, and uh, Lord, we need to pray. So I just thank you for my brothers and sisters, Lord. Thank you that they were praying for me and Carmen as we went to uh, Chicago. Bless uh, Brother Ed Canapo and the uh, rescue mission in Kankakee, Illinois, by Chicago, Lord. Bless my efforts here. If you will, if you will, Lord, open the door to start something here in San Antonio. Bless my brothers, the pastors, their churches, their wives, their children. Provide all their needs, Lord. Give them strength. Give them good hope, Father. And help us to understand the things that we are studying now, to, that it might make an impact on our life, to give us power in our life in the Holy Spirit, to live a good life, and, and also to, to run that race. And as we near the end, as we go to the end, Lord, that we finish good, that we give glory unto you. And Father, we just thank you, Lord. In the precious name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Very good. All right. Let's go back to 1 Corinthians chapter uh, 10. And um, we'll, we'll, um, we'll read from verse 14 to, um, let's see... Uh, to verse uh, 18, 14 to 18. Ah, Padhendu Arvati Vadhan Padnali. Kavati Naprisa Rila Ra, Vikraha Radhanaku Doramaga Paripondi. Buddhimantilato Matla Natlu Mito Matla Chunan. Nin Chipu Sangatini, Miri Ala Chinchuri. Manam Divinchu, Asirvachanapu Patra Lundi Travta, Christo Rakamu Palpu Chukunu Tegada, Manam Virtu Rute Tinuta. Christu, Sarayamu, Palpuchun Tegada, Manamandarma, Yote, Rutulu, Palpuchun Tunamo, Rote Okatekanka, Nekuma in a Manamo, Waka Sharia Mayana, Serera Prakarma in Israel, Chudri, Valer Pinchuat in the Sinua, Balipetons of Palwarkara, Ekane in Chipuna Demi, Vigraha and Chal, Sinuarkara, Pandemo Santa Salman. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. And so, you know, the, the Apostle. He says, flee, flee from idolatry, uh, run from it. You know, here in the United States, there's a lot of idolatry, but it's more, it's more hidden. It's more hidden. It has to do with uh, TV programs, has to do with money, has to do with the way people live. But in India, where you live, I mean, they're actually worshipping false idols. In, in India, the most... The yeah. most idolatry we find in our country. Yeah, I had a, I, I had a job. More than, more than in, in uh, America. I had, a, I had a job here in, uh, in, in Texas where uh, this man was from India. He was a pharmacist, a pharmacist, okay? And he, um, he wanted me to paint a god for him, one of his gods. 
<laughs> I, 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 this this thing was this thing. The portrait of God or God? <laughs> yeah, and this thing was this thing was ugly. Some old, old, ugly. Oh, it was terrible. I told him I can't do it. I said I I, I, I can't do it. he tells us flee flee from idolatry then, then he says in verse 15 he, he says judge what I say now verse 16 the cup of blessing which we bless is it not the communion in blood of Christ the bread <laughs> and the bread which we break is it not the communion of the body of Christ so he says in verse 17 so we being many many different members in the body of Christ all over the world are one bread and one body for we are all partakers of that one bread and that's that's what the Lord teaches us the the unity in the body of Christ you guys are on the other side of the world in India I'm here in Texas but because we have the same spirit the Holy Spirit we've all been baptized you know by one spirit by into one body we have a fellowship we have a communion we know the Lord you know it makes it makes no difference how the culture is different or um, different things that are going on but but in the Lord we, we are we are the same and we're partakers of that we are one we are one man and we partake with the yeah. blood and the body of Christ with amen. the bread. amen yes manam mana mana deshal verena mana sampradayal verena manam veru veru prantalo unna manam nalaga unna telaga unna ed chesina manam meer ekkado mapadiki manam andaram kuda krishnanandu ayana shariram nu tinutu dwara aa rotte tinutu dwara nu ayana raktanni aa tattunu manam kraudu dwara nu paarpundu dwara nu Amen. So um, then he goes on to say that um, that Israel in verse 18, Israel after the flesh, when they had when they would do their sacrifices, are they not which eat the sacrifices, partakers of the altar? In other words, they all together as one would partake of the sacrifice and worship the Lord the same way we do today in the body of Christ. They did in the Old Testament, now we do it in the body of Christ. <laughs> All right, let's read from uh, verse uh, 19 to 22, 19 to 22. Ekanenu chapuna demi, Vigrahatitamu, ye mina, one other nianu, Vigrahamulalu, ye mina, one other nianu, Chepezana, Lidugani, and Yanila Pinjibalu, they will come to the Yamaka Pinjitunani, Chepchan, Chala directly divided, and then their information. Miru the Yamuloto, Padiwa out an Akistam Gil. Miru Prabhu Patalundi, the Yamal Patalundi put a dragon arrow. Prabhu Palameda on a dan in Lunu, the Yamalama Palameda on a dan Lunu. Koda Palu from the Nerad. Prabhu, Prabhu Naku, Rasha Putin Jadama, Ah, I am a Kante Manamo, Palavanturma. Directly, the intro of Ekrahanga pitches the year we were learning, we could have ever given for one man of the Yes, sir. All right. He goes on to tell us then uh, that an idol, we know that in verse 19 here, that an idol is, is, is really nothing. And and and, and uh, things that are sacrificed to idols, you know, 
is it anything? It's, it's really nothing. But in verse 20, he says, But I say that the things with the jet, which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils and not to God. Mm. Yeah. And I would not that you should have fellowship with devils. Verse 21, you cannot drink of the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. You cannot be partakers of the Lord's table and at the table of devils. Let's go to Jeremiah, chap Jeremiah chapter 44. Yes, and uh, let's see. Let's start in verse 15. And we'll read from verse 15 to, um, let's see. 15 to? To, uh, let's see, uh, to 18. 15 uh, to 18. Uh, ఇర్మియాకు <laughs> Alright, here, here we see um, the, the cup of devils very clearly in verse um, 17. They were burning incense to the Queen of Heaven. You know that the ca the Catholic Church today calls Mary the Queen of Heaven. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they do. Uh, the Roman Catholics are now, now worshipping uh, uh, Mary. Yes. Mary, Mother Mary. Yeah, it's the, uh, it's the Queen of Heaven. And it says... Yes, and it says they poured out drink offerings unto her, and they also, in, in uh, other places, it says they made cakes unto her. It's like the mass. It's like the uh, the, the the wine and the uh, bread. It's counterfeit. It's it's, it's the devils. And, and so. Uh, they, they poured their drink offerings to them, and, and the Lord punished them. The Lord, the Lord uh, had uh, armies come in, and, and uh, they took them to Babylon, remember? They, went, yes. they, they were worshipping yes. Balaam and other gods. The, uh, the whole, the heaven, Babylon, yes. Yes. If we go to Isaiah, go to Isaiah 65. Uh, uh, all right. Yeah, sixty-five. Yeah, let me. Idea. Yeah, let me find it. My computer's a little slow here. It doesn't want to work. Hang on. We'll get it. <laughs> All right. Okay, we can go to verse. Um, Verse, we start in verse uh, 11. Yeah, read, read verse 11. Yehovah was sent in China, Parshuta Parvatan Marji, Gazunaku, Balanus, the Pachuadara, Adrusta Deviki, Pania, Panamu, and Pichuadara, Nenu Piruva, Miru, Otermi Yeledu, 
నేను మాట్లాడగా మీరు ఆలకింపల ఆలకింపక నా దృష్టికి చెడ్డవాదైన దాని చేసి నాకు ఇష్టము కాని దాని ఒరితిరి నేను కడదమని మీకు అదృష్టముగా నియమించుదును మీరందరూ వదకులు నగుదురు Yes, that's good. That's good. Now he says in verse 11, 65-11, um, in the English it says, But ye that, ye that forsake the Lord, that forget my holy mountain, that prepare a table for that troop, and that furnish drink offering unto that number. That word troop in the, um, in the original language, it means, um, I'm looking it up right now, I'll tell you what it means. It means that um, it, is, it is a god of fortune, the god of fortune. You know, good, fortune. good fortune. It's the God of fortune. Horoscope. Our people are also very much interested in horoscope and sorcery. And always they will always advantage us. They want to know the future. The, the best things they, uh, they want to know. Yeah. They wish always, people wish always good things. Same, same thing here in the United yeah, States. Like, they look into the, they look to the stars and everything. Stars, yeah. Yeah, won't do, yeah. won't do them no good. But this God, this, this, this troop, it is, it's like the God Jupiter. It has to do with Baal, with Baal worship. It's the God Jupiter has to do with Baal and worship. ఇలాగే చేసినటువంటి విషయాలు మనం చూస్తున్నాం కదా అండ్ దెన్ ఇన్ ఇన్ వర్స్ ఇలెవెన్ హీ గోస్ ఆన్ హీ గోస్ ఆన్ ద సే హియర్ దట్ అబౌట్ ద ట్రూప్ దెన్ హీ సెస్ and furnish the drink offerings onto that number, that word, that number, that's another god. That's the uh, planet Venus, the planet Venus. Also, Venus. Yeah. Yes. Yes, that's what it says in the Hebrew. It's the planet Venus. So they're looking at the stars, and they're like, yeah. like today, the horoscope. That's exactly yeah, what they're horoscope. doing, yeah. Yeah. And the Lord said, yes. వేనసను పూజ చేస్తూ ఉంటారు మనం ఈ దేవత అంటారు కదా ఇప్పుడు నవగ్రహాలు ఉన్నాయి కదా నవగ్రహాల్లో వేనస్ అనేది ఒక దేవత అందాల దేవత ఏదో దానికి నక్షత్రం అక్కడ ఆకాశంలో కనపడుతూ ఉంటుంది కదా ఇంకని ఆ దేవతను పూజ చేస్తూ ఉంటారు సో లోడ్ డజన్ వాస్ టు బి పర్టేకర్స్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ స్టఫ్ వీ గా వీ హ్యావ్ టు బి వెరీ కేర్ఫుల్ యూ లాట్ ఆఫ్ టైమ్స్ when people come to uh when people come to the lord's table and when they're living in sin and they come to the lord's table in the communion of the bread and the uh and the wine uh it's the same thing like uh, ta- you know drinking of a cup of devils the same thing when we live in sin and we partake at the lord's table we got to be careful we need to examine our life to make sure we're right with god దేవునికి మనం స్వచ్ఛంగా మన జీవితాన్ని జీవిస్తున్నాం లేదా అనేది మనం చూసుకోవాలి ఆ దేవతలతో పాల్గొంది ఆ అదృష్ట దేవతల గురించో లేకపోతే వాళ్ళ జ్యోతిష్యం చెప్పుడు దగ్గరికి వెళ్ళి ఏ సమయంతో దాన్ని తెలుసుకుంటూ ఇక్కడ ఏ శుభ్రం దేవుని ఆరాధించడం అనేది చాలా తప్పు ఎందుకంటే ఆ బలం అయితే దయ్యాల బలం అయితే ప్రభు బలం అయితే రెండింటిని కలిపి మనం తినలేము తాగలేము చేయకూడదు ఇది చేసి అది చేసి పవిత్రంగా ఉండకుండా అపవిత్రంగా జీవించారు ఎవరబాబు నేను తెలుసు చేస్తున్నట్టు మీకు అసలు 
Hey, why don't we read uh, uh, 1 Corinthians 10, 22 to uh, 24, 22 to 24. ఎవరిని <laughs> Yes, sir. All right, so... 25. Well, I studied up to 22 to 25 verses. Okay, that's good. And so, you know, we, we cannot provoke the Lord, you know, to, to jealousy. He says, I am a jealous God. Amen? You shall have no other yes. gods. You shall yes. have no other gods before me. He said to Moses, yes. I am a jealous God, but I am my jealous God. He said. And he, 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 visits, he visits the iniquity of them that hate God to the second and third yes. generation, it says. Generation. Yes. Yes. Yes, then, he, then he says in verse 23, all things are lawful for me. In other words, he's free to do things in the, in the boundaries of being in Christ, but all things are not expedient. In other words, they're, they're not a good thing. They might not be good to do. It might not be a sin, but uh, it's, it's not a good idea to do it. All things are lawful for me, but all things edify, built not up. The scripture teaches us that we are to build people up in, in the grace of God, and we have to be careful of our witness. It might not be unlawful for me to do certain things or go certain places, but to keep a good testimony, I don't want to do them. I want to have a good testimony for the Lord. It might not be a sin, but but I don't want to do it because I want, I'd rather be a good testimony for the Lord and to be able to build people up in the grace of God. <laughs> And so, verse 24, let no man seek his own, his own things and his own life, his own way, but every man another man's wealth. In other words, we have to have a conscience and understanding that people are watching us. We represent the Lord Jesus Christ in this world, and we got to be careful how we live for the Lord. We are free. We are free people in Christ, but we got to be careful not to use that freedom where it would be a bad witness to others. We have to think about the other people, how to help them. and then in verse uh, 25 he says 
whatsoever is sold in shambles, in other words, at the marketplace, he says, that eat, asking no question for conscience sake. For the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. And so, you know, people sell things in the market and um, whatever is sold there, he says, eat it, asking nothing, not, not to offend nobody's conscience because everything belongs to the Lord. You know, we are, we are no longer under uh, Moses' law.